People at work have started calling me Saddam because it's based off. Well, never mind. I, I'm curious. No, never mind. It's a stupid story, and I don't want to tell it now. All right, Saddam. <laughs> All right, so what are we? Where are we heading now? Uh, this, I don't want to do the Bolter mission. Are we just picking up no, quests? No, 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 these, no, no. Uh, We're just houses? picking up other quests. I just haven't okay. switched it around. Whoa! What the hell is this? Just... Wander, come into the house. Come in here. He, come uh, in the compound. In or up? Uh? Like, come over here. Come over here and look at yeah, this wall. Yeah, I was. Okay. What the hell? What is this? Yeah. What is this? A couple hundred, maybe a little over a thousand. <sighs> what are they keeping track of? How many days they've been here, maybe. That's depressing. That is mess. Yeah, that is super bleak. So, this guy? Okay. Oh. Hey, it's Mom. I want to talk to her. I sent for you days ago. Are you always so slow? Perhaps you are resistant to my summons. Good. The strong ones are more difficult, but always so much more worthwhile. You must be the witch. Such prideful contempt. But of course you do not believe in such things. Look, I'm here because I've been told that you... that you have an ability. You want to know how I walk among the immortals without drawing their attack. Is that not so? Huh? Is it possible? For you? No. You are far too crude and ignorant to obtain such deep knowledge. But there is another way. Something I could make for you. Fine, I'd be willing to trade. You are only here because I wish it. And it is my wish that you have this ability. You will need it to be of service to me. Tonight, you will go to the caves while the volatiles are out hunting. Collect as many black mushrooms as you can carry. And I will use them to prepare a tincture for you. Now, excuse me while I go back to menacing this potato. little teddy bear thing. I thought she was stabbing a potato. <laughs> Miss Cleo, going to tell you how to make tincture. You just called number on cell phone. Then pay. <laughs> Ten dollars. Ten dollars a minute. Peace. I read uh, the biography of Miss Cleo. I think we had this conversation. Oh uh, yeah, we did. She used to be like an. She's just an actor. She uh, yeah. used to like run her own improv theater, and then she became um, Miss Cleo. I tell you to uh, to to live a good life, and I can't I cannot do a Miss Cleo accent, so it's just kind of like bad Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cleo, gonna, gonna make you a that. pizza pie. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, I will see go. many great deliciousness in your future. <laughs> All you need to okay. do is get the mozzarella and wrap it on your elbows, and it will bring you good luck, and you get the promotion at your work. And cheesy elbows. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. There are many uh, benefits to cheesy elbows. Let <laughs> me tell you. Oh, God. This is Crane. Is that you, Tolga? Uh, he wants to talk to us. Well, I don't want to talk to him. I repeat, you are ordered to come immediately. That is all. Shut off the radio. Tolga, that's not how you talk to women. No, no, I believe that it will work this time. You, lady person, I like your bats. <laughs> Meet my brother, Fatin. Oh, why are you going? Oh, don't go away. No, this is not where we go. Well, this area sucks. Well, we, uh, we're going back into the school that we just cleared out, apparently. Yeah. Because we gotta find crayons. Because that's a good use of kids. our time. Yeah. Gotta keep those kids happy. Oh. What? There are people here now. What? Well. Oh, including Elgor and. <coughs> Apparently they're here. 
I wasn't... How did you get into that area? Wizard magic, here. I'm just gonna have you teleport. Okay, thanks. Oh, what the fuck? It's these guys! <laughs> oh man! Oh. Into this time. Do you understand what a battery is? Toga, you're overwhelming him! Inside the engine compartment of a bus is a heavy rectangle. I know what a battery is. Okay, we need bus battery with marine grade plates and rate it at 1300 CCA or better. CCA means cold cranking amps. Obviously. That's a pretty big battery. Yes, easily 50 to 55 kilograms each. That's equal to uh, several large rocks. He's American. The metric system makes him. <laughs> he will need three of them. Oh, you can use your brute strength. We know you primitives are keen to show how strong you are, to demonstrate physical prowess. You think it will attract females? Ugly and stupid. What else does he have? Oh, how does he live like that? Who knows? You have your instructions. So do your uh, interpretation of them. Okay, the metric system line was hilarious. These two are painfully unfunny. Yes. <laughs> I just want to talk. Try listening. The first bullet goes over your head. The next one goes through it. Stop. Oh, he really is a sniper. We don't want to scare off someone who might be willing to help us. We don't know this arsehole from a plate of falafel. Don't argue with me. Let him in. Seems Errol wants to talk to you. There won't be any trouble. Do I look worried? Scared to death. He's perceptive. Come in. Come in. Whoa. <laughs> I've noticed that you don't see, like, a lot of the glitches that I do, but man, do people do funky things in this game. Ooh. Ukraine. This is my niece, Salia, and her son, Aaron. Do forgive Edward, but he's completely right to be worried. We are being pursued by some very ruthless men. Rice. Something oddly familiar about you. There should be. The campaign spent a lot of money putting my face all over town. Of course, you're Errol Asani, governor of the province. Governor of nothing. But Rise has decided that any political figure is a threat to him. So he's ordered my execution. They nearly killed me once already. That's how I lost my leg. And it seems they haven't given up. A squad of his thugs has tracked me to my last safe house in the slabs. Edward was just there. He says they're searching the area. It's only a matter of time before they show up here. Oh, sounds like you got quite a problem. I would pay you very well to resolve it. Hey, you know, people say that a lot to me. Trust me. What I can offer you can't be found anywhere else. At any price. I'll think I'll about, about it. it. Oh my god. <laughs> I will give you a right proper stumping. <laughs> I'll give you a real good stump job. Mm. Like, did, do I want... No, you don't want that. But I want that. I'm so lonely. <laughs> Turns out zo zombie, zombie apocalypse is bad for mistress business. Oh, <laughs> well, he was a governor. You don't think that he was a massive philanderer on the side? Oh, what? Player stash? Oh, safe house. Yeah, it's a safe house. Okay. Edward keeps this area safe, I guess. Good job, Edward. I approve. We're still looking for those, uh, crayons, though. The crowns? Crayon. Yeah, Crayon's wait, is it just in them. this area? Oh. Yeah, turns out there's like five crayons littered around oh. here. One more. Ooh, that was weird. Like, pick something up and my screen just, like, zoomed out. Yeah, this game is funky. Uh, I got him. Uh, we're missing one more. No, we're not. Give crayons to Kate. Oh, I see. We did. Uh, head for that drop. Uh, down south a bit. Um, Toxic lichen, batteries. Okay, uh, yeah. I've, I've marked it. Okay. I just like going after the airdrops because it gets us a lot of survivor EXP. Yeah, it's not bad. I actually have some skill points I should have spent a while ago. I think I, I need to level up. 
Luckily, this is not one of those games where, like, you need to immediately level up. It's just kind of nice. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> I think that, honestly, like, the power and agility skills are probably the best. But then again, I say that and somebody's going to comment and be like, no, this is what you need to do. But whatever. Point being, I didn't have a point. This game's I fun. I messed these guys up hard. Yeah, it I, is fun. What the fuck? I can't... There we go. Jeez. Did you just... Did you just slice these bros in half? Yeah. Well, that was a cricket bat. How do you have a fucking sword? How much money do you have, dude? $11,000. Huh. What have you been spending it on? Nothing. You are terrible at games. I don't play them professionally like you do. Fair enough. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm gonna do it anyway. What you doing and why? There's a cool... <gasps> what? Okay. Um, just a thing. I found, I found a cool thing. Um... I mean, you go after me for, you go after me for like cutting dudes in half, but like, you down these guys in seconds. <laughs> I know, but like cutting a dude in half is way cooler than just shooting some dude in the face. Truth. Well, um, my recommendation would be start grabbing uh like enemy weapons and stuff. Yeah, like that's that. what they I that's them. what I've been doing recently. Like I just figured out now that you can actually make a ton of money doing that. Yeah, it's like a 500 per. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Do hey, you want to keep them off from me for a second? I'm going to see. If uh, there's nobody around you, so. Okay, I, I, I was hearing, uh. I was hearing, like, ah. I mean, they're around, but they're not, you know, really not doing anything. Did you get it? Yeah, the other thing we should probably be doing is raiding <coughs> every single police van we go by. Yeah. Because those guns are worth money. I only found a crowbar. I didn't find a gun or anything. Oh. I found a golden... I, I found an orange... Orange gun. Nice. One of the Sounds fancy delicious. ones. delicious. Yeah. It's nothing but pure unadulterated vitamin C. <laughs> well, that person's... In two pieces. Good things we're not fighting slimes. Because then we would have two slimes. I don't know. Okay. Dude, I just shot a guy. I just now realized that the, like, the, the, the fast zombies look like Raheem. Huh. They kind of do. A lot of them okay. do. They have, like, bandanas and shit. I oh, have because they used quest. to be runners. They're zombified yeah. runners, that's what they are. There's a lot of them. It'd actually be kind of neat uh, if this was actually one of those games where maybe they amped up the difficulty like crazy, mm -hmm. but the zombies were like permanently uh, killable. Oh yeah, I would love that. Because um, there's a lot of zombies, and there's not an infinite amount of people that were in this town, you know. Granted, I guess everyone was here for the Olympic, uh, the global game sport event. Well, I guess I shouldn't be doing this. Okay. Probably take a note out of your book. What? And start shooting these guys or something. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Damn it. I'm trying to pick a lock here. Here, I'll just lawnmower my way through a bunch of them. So you will. They're all gone. I think there's like one or two left. I'm having trouble. So did you make a sword out of like a lock? Damn it! Damn it! Fuck! Ow! Did you make a sword out of like a lawnmower blade or something? Nah, I bought it. Oh. One of the merchants. I meant to repair, not heal. It's dumb. Let me. Eh. 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 Okay, I'm just gonna start shooting. This is taking way too long.
Yeah, I, I agree. I think that that would be kind of a cool twist off of the zombie games if they, uh, if, if just any of them, if they had um, permanently like a set pool of zombies and that was it. They could even all be named. Yeah. Like, no, Actually, you killed Zombie kind of, Ted. That'd be kind of cool if it was, uh, if it was like maybe kickstarted or something. Mm -hmm. And so you just end up with like a bunch of people that just submit backstories for a ton of the different zombies. And so like, literally, every zombie has a story. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Like Undertale and steroids, but also with zombies. Yeah, except for like with Undertale, it felt like uh, a lot of those were meaningful. I yeah. think it would just be kind of a fun yuck yuck if you find out that like X dude is was like a, a shoe collector, an avid yeah. shoe collector. <laughs> Nail hatchet and shotgun ammo. Point. That was definitely not worth the time. I got stolen valuables and a machete. Machete. God, they go down in seconds. Yep. Ah. They go down screaming. Ah. Uh oh. Yeah, there's a lot of them. We should move. But the yeah, these are definitely runners that have been zombified. They, I I finally picked up on yeah, a just go. subtle thing in a video game. Subtlety is usually lost on me in most video games, but there are a shit ton of runners here. Let's move. Uh, uh, by the way, I had, uh, I had marked our, our next location. Oh, we're not going back to the tower? No, not yet. Head north. Oh, okay. We got a couple of things up there. Well, By okay. The way, the, I only have time to do one last thing here, so... Well, they're right next to each other, so... Okay. If it's okay, we can do both. If not, yeah. we can do the other one next time. No, let's not just really do whatever you got marked real quick, and then uh, call yeah. it for a night. <coughs> Excuse me. Honestly if, honestly, if a game like that exists, you want a great deal more monster types than just zombies. Yeah, probably. They're not wrong. Yeah, probably. But it would, it'd be fun. I'd like to play a game like that. And then, like, going 100% completionist and killing every single enemy in the game would actually be kind of a fun little challenge because you get a little backstory for every single thing that you killed. And it would yeah. be really funny. It'd be like, uh, you know, what was that game, the hacking thing, where it did randomly, sim like, generate backstories or whatever? Oh, Watch Satellite Dogs? Rain. No, no. I mean, yeah, Satellite Rain did that too. But uh, what was it, Watch Dogs or something? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely watchdogs. Yeah, but if those stories were like more meaningful and less randomly generated, I think it'd be like really funny. Okay, what are we doing here? I'm getting distracted, but I'm on my way. Okay. Ran into random people. <laughs> yeah, I just got barfed on by a zombie, and it leveled my power up. This is about right. I what doesn't kill you guess. makes you stronger. Oh, uh, yeah. You tied that all back together. I bet you're real proud of yourself. Very. <laughs> I actually really do want to play that game now that I'm thinking about it. Like... If it was like ridiculous, it sounds like it'd be a really good roguelike. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I'm just thinking of like if it if it kind of had just Morrowind like skill leveling system, mm -hmm. uh, because that would fit really well. Yeah. So you How like, do I use you the just throw again? Of, uh, middle click. That's right. Grenade. <laughs> They'll come running over. What caused that explosive sounds? I don't know. How about the grenade I just threw on the ground? Ah. Oh. Hello. God, it looks like a rejected X-Men. But. Who does? A lot grosser. The barfing guys. Oh, yeah. Well, he looks like Toad. Yeah, he exactly. He's one of the, like, X-Men villains. Toad was... awful. It's truly an uninspiring character. But they gave him such prominent roles in so many of the X-Men animated things. 
I think he was supposed to like come off as a tortured individual, but in reality he was just kind of a dick. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I've what got. What am I supposed to be doing in this in this in this area, Wander? Sorry, we've got a couple of things to do. Okay, so I'm standing above one of Osman's stashes. Oh, okay. Here we go. Got it. I'm at a. I'm gonna attempt to do a lock picking thing actually real quick. Sounds good. God damn, damn it. it! Why are all of? Oh, I got knocked out. Coming. Thanks. By one dude. One. Yep. Oh, one wait. measly dude. One second. Got a couple of all right, fast all right. ones. Oh my god. There's like a s shit ass ton. I see this. I see this now. Nine, Just eight, pick you up quick. seven, six, five, nope. four, three, no, don't two, hurt. One, zero, and I'm, I'm down. I'm sorry. Every time, every time they'd hit me, they'd uh, distract me from it, and yeah, I can't get you yeah, back it's up. Yeah, fine. I? It's fine. Well, guess we'll figure out the mystery of this place next time. But e. I'm gonna have to head out now. You have to go. I know. Oh, and I okay. didn't even get my special thing. No, I don't want you to have your special okay. thing. Fuck your special thing. All right. 